With the FAA deeply embarrassed by the sleeping epidemic, it's trying to assure the public of safety. The five air traffic controllers and one supervisor suspected of napping have all been suspended. The chief of air traffic control, Hank Krakowski, abruptly resigned this morning. At 27 airports where the midnight shift used to have one controller, airports as large as Fort Lauderdale and as small as Fargo, North Dakota, will now have two on duty in the name of safety. So that people have the assurance that these towers are safe and the controllers can guide planes in and out of airports. But experts tell CBS News that doubling down in the towers will not fix the larger safety problem, which is air traffic controller fatigue. Too many controllers work rotating shifts, mixing early and late shifts in the same week without getting proper rest in between. These people are being scheduled to a point where they are really getting fatigued by virtue of their schedule. In fact, for more than a year, the FAA and the Air Traffic Controllers Union have worked on a joint study on fatigue with the union freely admitting there's a problem. We have a fatigue issue and we want to address the fatigue issue. One focus of the coming investigation is why the sleeping controllers were so out of it. They're not answering the phone line either. They did not respond to the radio or to ringing telephones. How is it that the controller isn't even answering the phone? We don't know. We need to, we need to look at each one of these instances and see exactly what happened. Most air traffic controllers do perform at a very high level every day. But CBS News has learned that at least three of the sleeping controllers were there after midnight alone, were relatively new at the job, and lacked the professional training and mindset that frowns at sleeping on the job. Katie? White, Andrew is white. Thank you.